What's going on everybody? This is Ken. I am back with an accessory from CarLink Kit. Basically CarPlay or Android Auto for your Tesla. In previous videos, I've had my iPad mini that fits perfectly in the center console wireless charger in Tesla Model 3s and Ys. First thing I want to check on this is just make sure that it is updated and then we'll get it tested out. and see what's in it. And this is the actual CarLink kit right here. Let's see what's also in the box. Things included are USB-C to USB-C cable and a USB-A to USB-C, depending on what Tesla you have. And the last thing in the box is the instruction manual. You can use a nano SIM card or you don't have to use your personal hotspot, but that's really up to you. We're just going to go straight personal hotspot in this video. So here it is. And there's a little speaker on the back of it. It almost looks like a Y, which is kind of cool. That's where you plug it in as well. And I'll probably be using the USB-C to USB-C and there's nothing else. Make sure I have personal hotspot turned on, which I'm sure it is. So it is turned on. Perfect. Whichever cable you want to use, I'm going to just use the USB-C to USB-C. Plug it into that little slot, which is a USB-C. It has the power symbol, so it is getting power. All right, so let's grab the phone. So we're going to go to my Bluetooth. And there it is, AutoKit underscore Charlie67 Bravo. I'm going to click on it. Bluetooth pairing requests. I'm gonna just hit pair. Allow contacts and favorites to sync. Sure, why not? So now we're gonna go to the car. Click on the Wi-Fi icon in the upper right corner of your car screen. Upper right. It's connected to my current Wi-Fi now. And you see it populated. You see the auto underscore Charlie 67 Bravo. We're gonna tap on that. We're gonna enter eight eights. finally got it to connect so keep trying now I'm gonna go to my Wi-Fi settings click on the auto kit and make sure very important remain connected in drive so I'm gonna select that and I'm done now I have my browser up and then it says go to testpush.com I already have it in there device is connected connecting and this is the first time that it's doing it. Please pair Bluetooth with your mobile phone, which I thought I did. Oh, it's not connected, as you can see right here. So, okay, I'm gonna hit connected. It is saying connected. Now it's connecting right here. It says use CarPlay. So yes, use CarPlay. And there you go. It loads up. I'm gonna go to auto, because I think, I believe that's where and it shows auto connect is turned on and I'm gonna go to about and let's see if there's a software update it's currently on the latest version perfect so let's go back to home let's go back to the settings and see what's in there and then we'll just go for a drive and we'll close this out one thing is it far as it being responsive I have no complaints about it. Yeah, it's a little lag. I think if you was in another Tesla like a hardware for it probably be faster because it's a faster chip Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you can turn it to night mode if you want, but you want auto night mode, starting time, resolution, so setting, I want high def, I guess. Well, let's do auto, because you can do it fast. It was set to fast. I'll do it on auto, frame weight. Oh, I even like this better, because it was like so big. Hmm, not bad. So you can play with the settings. This video is not for that. Uh, but one thing I'm curious about, I'm going to get out the car and let the car turn off and then get back in the car and see what it does. Kind of reset. I'm going to click on my browser. It's right here. CarPlay is pulled up. That's cool. Don't forget, make sure it is remain connected and drive.
Let's go for a drive, get this video closed out. I'm back. It's been about a day and a half. I wanted to spend a little bit more time with it. Uh, some things, it's, it's great. I have Apple CarPlay in my car or Android Auto if you have an Android phone. Um, it's, you know, it, if you have really good reception, it's really not gonna lag. Uh, the navigation is gonna stay with you, um, no doubt. Uh, another thing I would say uh, that's a drawback if I do put my car in reverse it does close out the browser and then I have to click on my favorite and load it back but it goes right back into the screen if I do do the full mode on full self-driving it will close it out as well so I'll just have to click on my browser down here and then click on my shortcut that should be on my main screen which is right here and it loads it right back up so you don't have to worry about retyping in your address because your phone is it's using your phone's car place so your phone remembers everything with your left scroll wheel click that and then you have your quick features right here as well that'll help you from not messing with this screen which is cool <laughs> I think that's it I mean it's, it's really a good product by Carlink it uh, I can't really complain there's no other way I can really get Apple CarPlay in my car at this moment and I don't think us Tesla owners will ever get it you will get a discount on this if you decide to pick this up and it will be in the description below for you and I think it's uh, maybe 15% off I'm not for sure and if you have any questions please let me know this can I'll see you in the next video